Now we're going to move to the grill and we're going to grill some beautiful salmon fillets. We're going to do it very simplistic to keep the natural flavor of the fish intact. We'll have the skin on and we'll grill away. Right now I'm just going to oil up the grill so that it doesn't stick and put a flame. Then I don't have to put as much oil on the fish itself and it also keeps the fish from burning. So it's a nice beautiful fresh sockeye salmon. We're going to keep it very simple. We're going to season it with a little kosher salt and black cracked pepper and that's it. So skin side up depends on the thickness of the fish for the amount of time. Usually it's about four minutes per inch on each side. And we're going to move it one time to get those nice beautiful directional grill marks. What's nice is you'll know the salmon's ready to move when it comes up easy. If you have to like scrape and get in it, either your grill's not seasoned enough or the salmon's not cooked enough. So what happens when the grill is hot and the right temperature, that allows the fish to go onto it and sear instantly so that they don't stick. When it's too cold and your fish is sticking, that's definitely because the grill is not hot enough. It's gonna be about four minutes on each side. So to get those nice hash marks, I'm gonna turn it the opposite direction. And then we're gonna do the same with this fish. So we put the salmon down, skin side up, to allow the salmon to cook upward and allow the skin to actually be a vapor barrier to keep the moisture in. So when we flip that over, then the skin will do the opposite. It'll act like a, a saute pan almost, keeping it hot and actually releasing some of that moisture back into the top part. So you've got the nice color differences. So you can see it's got a nice gold into it. That white there is a little bit of the fat, the richness kind of coming out of the meat. So we're gonna flip it to the skin side where we'll finish our cooking. So we've actually moved the salmon three times because it's a nice delicate fish. This helps keep it intact and nice and moist. So even though we've cooked it with the skin on, the skin is unedible today due to the fact that we didn't remove the scales. If we wanted to eat the skin like a crispy salmon skin, we would have to remove the scales first. But since we're just field dressing it and going authentic rustic, we left the skin and scales on and eat it right off there. We'll notice that when we cut into the fish, and this would be a portion for a couple guests, you've got a nice coloring. It's got a good sear on the outside, still a little opaque on the inside, which is just gorgeous. There's your fat content right there. To get it off the skin, we just kind of gently pull back on the skin. Voila, came right off. So you've got a beautiful, nice piece of salmon. This is Alaskan style. People from other areas like to cook it a little more, but Alaskans really like it more on the medium rare side. And that's where I feel it's the best flavor profile comes out for the salmon.